Hey, what's going on, everyone? James Nine Numbers here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we're going to be going over the petitions and registered voters as of January, as of the week of January twenty first, twenty twenty three. Now, obviously, nothing much has changed except for no labels gaining some more registered, more valid signatures. So, congrats to them. But um, yeah, let's take a look at last week. Yeah, last week has been rough. The last couple of weeks have actually been tough for everyone, except for all political demographics, demographics, except for the Greens, which have been growing. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that for unaffiliated voters, that decline is over. Yes, this week, unaffiliated voters have grown by 90 voters this week, if you don't believe me. Here, take a look at this number right here. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the Greens grew by, like, 15 voters. Yeah, so Greens and unaffiliated are the only political demographics that have grown this week. Which means this is the Demo unaffiliated voters have, in total, have lost a little over 100,000 registered voters during this time. Wow, that is shocking. That's the largest of any demographic. But luckily for unaffiliated voters, it, it is over. I can't say the same thing for the other demographics. The Libertarian Party lost like 10 voters, though it... it but though because it's so small compared to losing like two thousand in the beginning of the of the year, like after losing two thousand voters, almost two thousand voters the first week, yeah, I think it's safe to say that the libertarian decline is gonna be over by next week, I would say. The Republicans that's a question mark, maybe. Republicans have lost a little over a thousand voters this week. Oh and yes, voter registration has declined once again this week in in the state of North Carolina. North Carolina lost 3,000 registered voters, but now let's go to the Democrats. Very not good. They lost a little over 1,800 voters. A approximately 1,800 voters. This is embarrassing for Democrats. Democrats have almost lost 100,000 too. And keep in mind, the, the past few months have not been great for Democrats. So, it's very unlikely Democrats will ever recover from this. This is permanent damage for Democrats, by the way. They have been losing, like, a lot of registered voters, and they've been losing elections year after year since, like, 2010, and it's very unlikely that they'll ever win another statewide office again once they lose their last remaining statewide seats. So, Republicans have a really good shot at making it, but first they're going to have to stop being on the decline first. So, Dem Republicans might decline another, another week, Democrats are certainly bound to decline another week. Libertarians, overall, yeah, they're going to grow by next week. I, I think I can, I think that's my prediction. Unaffiliated voters, hopefully they can get back to where they were before at the beginning of the year. And the Greens, well, it's a good thing they didn't shrink because they're on the recovery stage. So, yeah, with that, with that being said, guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.